Yo, it's your boy Vandro, Dr. Back again with another video. So I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Okay, so in this video, I will be showing you how to perform a factory reset on this device. So a factory reset is highly recommended if you are going to be selling the device on to somebody else or if you're giving it away. So what it's basically going to do is it's going to wipe the device totally clean, removing all your personal information like bank accounts, social media accounts, everything's just going to be totally wiped from the phone and it's going to reset the phone back to its default settings just like the first day when you got the phone and you unboxed it. Okay, if you're planning on keeping the phone but you're having issues with certain applications or the phone's not functioning right, 9 out of 10 times a factory reset can actually solve the issue. So yeah, I'm going to take you through how to actually perform this factory reset but do bear in mind make sure that you have any important files pictures videos things of that nature make sure you have it all backed up because performing a factory reset like I said it's going to wipe the device totally clean and you cannot get those things back they'll be gone forever unless you've got some super software to retrieve those deleted items so yeah guys I'm going to take you through real quick so just pull down the notifications and go into the settings and then scroll down to where it says general management and then scroll down again you will see reset okay so there's three options here reset all settings so this will reset all the settings on your phone except security settings language settings accounts personal data settings for downloaded apps so if you're keeping the phone and you want to reset all your settings maybe you've made some changes to certain settings within the phone but you don't know how to remove those settings that you've altered this would be the option to select reset settings and then there's reset network settings so if you're having problems with the wi-fi mobile data or bluetooth you could try resetting the network settings to fix the issue and then there's reset accessibility settings but like i said if you're actually giving the phone away or if you're selling it on to somebody else this is the option you need to select so factory data reset reset your phone to its factory default settings this will erase all data including files and downloaded apps okay so all data will be erased it explains all data will be erased from your phone including your google account system and app data settings downloaded apps music pictures all other user data service provider apps and content private key stored in samsung blockchain key store the following apps will be uninstalled some apps may be reinstalled after the reset depending on your service provider and you can also delete all eSIMs on your phone so if you have an eSIM and you want to delete it you would select that little box there and then just go ahead and hit reset all your personal information and downloaded apps will be erased and can't be recovered. Go ahead and delete all. Okay, so it's erasing and that was a quick wipe
Okay, so from here, you can power off the device and place it in its box if you're selling the device on. But I will be keeping mine. So I'm just going to go back through the whole setup process again. But yeah, guys, this is how you perform a factory reset on your Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. I hope this video helped you out. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Also share the video. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Hit that notification bell so you get notified the second I upload a video. It's your boy the Android Doctor. And I'm out. See you in the next video. Deuces.